Juice is on its way to Jupiter, but before it gets there, it's making a quick stop back at Earth. Not to refuel, but to execute a first-ever lunar Earth flyby and a double-gravity assist maneuver. These flybys are critical to keeping Juice on course without burning extra fuel. So, let's break down what's happening and why this mission is taking the long way to Jupiter. The Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE, launched in April 2023 and is expected to reach Jupiter in July 2031, an eight-year journey. Once it arrives, it will study three of Jupiter's largest moons, Ganymede, Callisto, and Europa. These aren't just ordinary moons. They could be hiding massive underground oceans, potentially holding more water than Earth. That alone makes them prime candidates for studying habitability beyond our planet. The main target is Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, bigger than Mercury, and the only moon known to have its own magnetic field. JUICE will orbit Ganymede, mapping its ice shell, measuring the depth of its subsurface ocean, and determining if there's enough internal heat to sustain liquid water. But before it gets there, JUICE has a long journey ahead. The spacecraft isn't taking a direct route because launching straight to Jupiter would require too much fuel, not just to get there, but to slow down enough to be captured by the planet's gravity instead of flying past it. That's where gravity assists come in. In August 2024, JUICE will perform the first ever lunar Earth flyby, using the moon's gravity to slow down before swinging around Earth to refine its trajectory. Then in August 2025, it will use Venus for another gravity assist. These carefully planned maneuvers allow JUICE to build up the right speed while conserving fuel. Some missions like Voyager, Pioneer, and New Horizons made it to Jupiter in under two years, but they weren't stopping. They used Jupiter's gravity to slingshot deeper into space. JUICE, on the other hand, needs to slow down enough to enter orbit around Jupiter, which is why it's taking a far more complex route. After the Venus flyby, JUICE will return for two more Earth flybys before finally arriving at Jupiter. Once there, it will conduct detailed studies of the planet's largest moons, using additional gravity assists from those moons to adjust its orbit and maximize scientific observations. JUICE's journey is a masterclass in orbital mechanics, using planetary gravity to navigate deep space efficiently. It's a slow but necessary process, ensuring we get the best possible look at some of the most intriguing worlds in the solar system. Stay curious and keep looking up.